Show us what happened here. Well, it looks like he was just moving, and right there, you saw his leg go, and he tried to plant on that knee, and it just went. I told you, his knee just gave away on him. It wasn't nothing. He tripped over his Yuri Foreman hobbling on the right knee. He's done. There's no way he can continue in the fight at this point. See, he tried to plant. Watch again. He tried to plant and throw it right hand. See that? He, well, he slipped that time. That's the second that, ball. That one hurt worse because the water causes me to go off Monday. And the towel comes in from Yuri Foreman's corner. You have to say Yuri Foreman showed lots of guts. His corner threw in the towel. He caught the towel and threw it back out. Continued to fight. Now here comes the towel, and we know we don't know where it came from, though it did come from the general area of Yuri's corner. The towel came in. It didn't come from the corner. Yes, it did. The understand. chief second threw it in. Would you shut up? You don't know hell what you're talking I about. I threw it in. You know, I mean, I don't know what else I was expected to do. Would you shut up? You don't know hell what you're talking about. And Mercanti does not have to stop the fight because of South. Well, Harold, I guess if fans thought that a white towel thrown into the ring was an automatic fight stop, it's now they know it's not. No, Jim. As a matter of fact, the commission always tells the referees, don't stop the fight if a towel comes flying in because you don't know who threw the damn towel. If you want to stop the fight in the corner, you tell the inspector, the inspector jumps up on the apron, motions to the referee to stop the fight. Now, but here comes the towel. And we know we don't know where it came from, though it did come from the general area of Yuri's corner. You have to say Yuri Foreman showed lots of guts. His corner threw in the towel. He caught the towel and threw it back out. Continued to fight. Oh. Who threw in the towel? Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. The towel that came into the ring came from an outside oh. source, right, listen, not the corner. Listen. Only the referee can listen stop to the fight. If the you're not going to move. He's landing his punches when he wants to. Yes, he is because. Foreman's punching power isn't enough to scare him so that he can take the risk that he needs to take to land those punches. Left hook inside for Holyfield after Lewis's uppercut was partially blocked. Oh. Left hook knocks the mouthpiece out of Foreman's mouth. That was a brilliant uppercut hook by Cotto. Yeah. Nice, nice. Foreman blocking Cotto's left hook to the body there. Cotto oh. comes back with the left hook to the body and cracks it. And now Mercanti's going to stop it. I told and you that's the knockout victory that Cotto was looking for. I told you, left body shot would have beat it a long time ago. If he landed it, it was over yeah. here. The left hook. You see, he threw a right hand to get that elbow up, and there goes a beautiful left hook to the body. I think I told you a couple rounds earlier that if he landed that shot, that would end the fight. That wasn't his knee this time. That was that left body shot. Once again, you see a right hand come out to make him pull his hand up for a left hook. But instead of left hook, the left comes to the body, which has been Cotto's signature punch from his early days. And you knew if he ever landed it clean, that was going to be lights out. And if you saw Bernard hit Hopkins, hit Oscar De La Hoya there. If you saw Arturo Gatti hit Leonard Doreen there. There are any number of other examples. Roy Jones against Reggie Johnson in New Orleans. After it looked like the fight was over, you said no, it wasn't. Why wasn't it? Well, the towel came in in the heat of the battle. There was a good exchange going at that moment. And the towel came in, and I felt it wasn't necessary. I didn't know where it came from. Because about 10 seconds prior to that, somebody in the corner stepped up and said, stop the fight, stop the fight. I looked, there was one in the corner. There was no need to stop the fight. They were just in the middle of a good fight, a great fight. That's what the fans came to see. It was a shame that he slipped. Into Do you know who threw the towel? I, at the moment, I didn't know. Do you know who it is now? I kind of know because everybody's yelling it was the cornerman. But the cornerman later denied it. Well, uh, I mean, the fight continued. That's, it was a great fight. The people came to see a good fight. And I felt I did the right thing. Let it continue. You, di you, you did do the right thing, as it turned out, even by the rules. Struggle with, with Plotty in Madison Square Garden. But Yuri Foreman grows as a public entity and as a fighter. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. I threw it in, you know. I mean, I don't know what else I was expected to do. And now the big punches resume once more as the towels come in. Johnny Eames has thrown in the towel and Mickey Van picks it up and throws it out of the ring. And the fight continues. Cornerman cannot stop a fight in the British ring. Oh! Right hand. Great right hand from Earl. What about that? 
touch. I can't see this now. He's all over the place. He's on rubber legs.